Welcome back to the channel everyone. The Santa Maria here and today's video is one that many have asked me about when I pondered over but it's such a hard thing to do because this is something I don't do but yeah I'm going to give you this list and today we're talking about signature scent fragrances. As you can tell basically if I were a signature scent girl I'm not because you all know I change my fragrance up all the time but if I were a signature scent girl it would be one of these fragrances hands down. I know you wonder, okay, wait, how? I don't understand what we're doing here. Let me define a signature scent first of all. A signature scent is a fragrance that you are known for wearing. That's what you wear all the time. Rain, sleet, snow, shine, any time of the year, that's your scent. That's what you wear. People know you for meaning it's your signature. Oh, we know. Mm. For example, a lot of ladies I know, their signature scent is Baccarat Rouge 540. That's their scent. Whenever I see them, smell them, I'm going to smell Baccarat. That's what that means. So when I hear when I smell Baccarat, I'm like, oh, I know this is this person in my list. So that's what a signature scent is. And like I say, if I were a signature scent girl, it would be one of these fragrances. But before we get into this list, because I know the ales love a good list, you know what we must do first. <laughs> Lipstick of the day, better yet, lip combo of the day. We are serving red goodness. And today's lipstick combo is from Juvia's Place. This is the Juvia's Place Perfect Red Lipstick. That is what we are rocking. Check that out right there. Yes. I haven't reached for this one often, but I've been reaching for it more because I've been loving red and yeah, get into it. And you see a shine over it. The shine that is giving is also from Juvia's Place. This is the Juvia's Place Cherry Love Lip Gloss. That is what's giving it this glow and shine. It'll all be in the description box below for you to check out Eels and let me know what you think as always. Next up we have Fragrance of the Day. Fragrance of the Day is from Killian and this is Angel Share. This is everything yes by the way this is head elf approved i walked by him he said what are you wearing you smell amazing so we like when we get that reaction so yes killian's angel share is your fragrance of the day so now let's get into this list of signature scent worthy fragrances again if i were to have a signature scent it would be one of these the first scent that would make this list hands down I've been obsessed with this scent. It has a full dedicated review already on the channel and I'm talking about none other than from the House of Bond number nine. And the fragrance is Grinch Village. I mean, the bottle, the color, yes, I love teal, aqua, anything. That's my favorite color scheme with the gold. So the bottle already has me sold. Okay, but enough about the bottle. The fragrance though. When I say I want to wear this scent all the time, it doesn't matter if I'm just going to the grocery store or if I'm going for a night on the town. Something about Greenwich Village just screams, wear me. You need to wear me. And most importantly, this is a head turner. Every time I wear this scent, I get questions about it. People want to know more about it. Hence why I did a whole dedicated review on this scent. But yes, this stops people in their tracks. Yes, this is a signature scent worthy fragrance. Yes, it is a little pricey because it is bond number nine, but this is a scent I have absolutely no regrets purchasing at all because I reach for it. I want to wear it all the time. I have to make myself stop wearing it and it gets compliments. It's a conversation starter for sure. So it's truly giving everything that you need a signature scent to give. So again, this is Bond Number no. 9's Greenwich Village. I already alluded to this scent earlier in my video, but it has to make the list. And I'm talking about the legend, the icon, all of the above. We are talking about Mason Francis Kirk Jean's Baccarat Rouge 540. This is absolutely signature scent worthy. At one point when it first came out, this used to be special occasion worthy, but people got addicted to it. I'm one of those people. I just started wearing it to everything. I mean, look at the dent in my bottle. As you can see, your girl has been wearing this bottle down it's some good juice and it just goes with everything it works with everything i mean i've worn it to go to school <laughs> when i was doing school visits for work i have worn this to the grocery store i have worn this to go out and this turns heads from the elementary kids they would say oh you smell good miss Patton." <laughs> to the grown people at the bar gentlemen you know trying to talk to you trying to see what's going on um, i'm good <laughs> but anywho baccarat rouge 540 it gets the job done it, it leaves a scent trail it's going to be a conversation starter so again it's doing what a signature scent does it makes people remember you it makes you memorable and it's mass appealing across all age groups and all settings so again 
MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540. The next scent is also from the house of Mason Francis Kirk Jean. This one isn't talked about at all enough, so we always love to talk about and shine a little bit with what I like to call an unsung hero or heroine in this case. And this is from Mason Francis Kirk Jean, and this is Feminine Plurial. This is the signature scent for the lady that truly wants to smell like a classic woman. I'm talking all of the florals. I'm talking she wears gloves. She's going to tea time. She is just a classic woman of a certain standing high society. This is her scent. To me, MMFK's Feminine Plurial. This is heavy. Lily of the Valley is in here. Violet is in here. Iris is in here. Heavy on the iris. So again, this is for my powdery, classic perfume type of smells. But you all, this scent lasts. And let me tell you, this one gets attention. People take you serious when you wear this scent. At least that's been my experience when wearing Feminine Plurial. This is a scent you want to be known for. You smell like a woman, but you smell like a woman that knows what she wants. So yes, MFK's Feminine Plurial is absolutely signature scent worthy in my opinion. And I enjoy and it lasts. Full dedicated review coming up on this scent. The next scent is no stranger to the channel as well. This one has a full dedicated review as well. <laughs> That's a fun story time. And this is from the house of Guerlain. And this is the original Mon Guerlain, you all. This is absolutely signature scent worthy. It's the lavender note in here. This is the most feminine lavender I have smelled. It's lavender, it has vanilla in it, and I think there's some sandalwood in here too. It's just it's creamy, it works, it works, it just works. It's so good. There's a reason why they made a million flankers of this scent. It's because it's a mass appealing scent. This is the scent that turns heads. This is a scent that women want to smell like. And quite frankly, it's a scent that's just easy because it goes with everything. To me, now don't get me wrong, the flankers, they're cool, but all you need is the original. The original will suit any occasion. I first uh, encountered this scent at a wedding and it was doing what it needed to do at a wedding. I've smelled this scent by going to work. I've seen it, people just shopping. It works and it gets compliments too. <laughs> it's funny. This is interesting. Low key becoming a signature scent slash compliment getting fragrance list. But hey, it is what it is. But when it comes to just being smelling like a lady, but with a lavender take on it, that's what makes this interesting. Cause normally lavender is reserved for masculine scents, but this is just beautiful. Mongrelon, that lavender is really, really doing more. It's projecting more now that it's fall. So I would even more so reach for this as a fall signature scent. I wanna add that. Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. Now the next fragrance is not new at all. It's been around for a minute, but it's from an iconic house. And this one has been the one I reached for the most from this fragrance house. And we're talking about the house of Chanel. And this is Coco Noir. I've had this fragrance in my collection for over a year and a half. So it's not a stranger at this point. But you all, this is signature scent worthy. It used to be, I used to be team um, Coco Mademoiselle to be a signature scent. But mm -mm, the Noir. This is the signature scent star in my opinion. I never actually formally looked up the notes. This was one of those scents that I just smelled while shopping out one day in the springtime. And I was like, well, I need that. I want it. I know for sure though, there is tonka bean in here because that's what drew me into the scent. And this, that is to my, in my opinion, it's the tonka bean that draws others into it. This is a scent I used to wear to the office. I've also worn it to a black tie gala and it didn't matter everything in between. This gets compliments and it makes people ask, what are you wearing? And they're so shocked when you say, oh, it's Coco Noir because they're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Most people, when you say, think of a Chanel fragrance, people expect you to say number five or they expect you to say Coco Mademoiselle, but mm-mm. Coco Noir is the signature scent to wear the one in my opinion. It's not necessarily darker, but it's just more, it has a little bit more mystique about it. This is the signature scent for the lady that's more of a femme fatale in my opinion but you can still wear her any time of day. Like you wear her first thing in the morning, you can also wear her at night. So don't let the, the um, phrase on here, noir, like make you think like, ooh, it's too heavy. It's only an evening time where, mm-mm. 
signature scent worthy in my opinion coco noir from chanel the next fragrance we're going to talk about we're wrapping this up by the way is from the house of dior and ells if you have been rocking with me you know this is a for life forever scent for me i've been rocking and loving this scent since i was 16 years old so yes the love is strong the love is real i've purchased multiple full-size bottles of this scent because i can't stop wearing it and this is none other than dior addict yes dior addict now with dior addict you can get it at your department stores but i have noticed a trend because it happened when i purchased this bottle it's not out on display you have to ask for it so this is turned into one of those fragrances where you if you know you know and the sales associate will have to pick up on that you guys be like no i want dior addict and every time i say oh i want dior addict they'd be ooh, how do you know about that because one they think i'm too young to know about dior addict I've been in love with this since I was 16 again. I couldn't wear it when I was 16, but I just recognize the quality of this fragrance. This is the original bourbon vanilla scent in my opinion. Now we have a lot of other ones that have that note in there, but this was the fragrance that introduced me to bourbon vanilla. It's just, it works. This is my winter office signature scent for sure. Mm, and I have to make myself stop wearing it because this is one of those scents that I'll go, I'll go a month without wearing it. But once I respray it and get back into this fragrance, I fall back in love with it and I keep wearing it constantly. I have to make myself stop wearing it. So that's how I know if I was a signature scent girl, this would make the list. You are Dior Addict. You, again, you can smell it at Dior counters in a Macy's, what have you. You just have to ask for it. And they have, they have a tester for you. So definitely get your nose on Dior Addict because... In my opinion, it's not new, it's been around. This scent is slept on and it needs more love. And it is a banger in cooler weather, in my opinion. So Dior Addict. <laughs> the last fragrance. <laughs> you all have heard me talk about this one as well. This is a forever for lifer. This was the one, my first purchase from Tom Ford. It wasn't the first one I smelled, but it was the first one I purchased. And this is Velvet Orchid. Another one that I've had several bottles of. This bottle I am halfway done with, if you can see by any means, the bottle's kind of dark. But I'm already halfway done with this bottle. I've been rocking Velvet Orchid for years. This was in my heyday when I was a party or socialite all day, when I was single in the world. <laughs> This was my scent. This was my signature going out scent. So I'm telling you what I know. This ain't, this, this isn't even a theoretical at this point. This was what it was. 2015 me? Oh, this is what I smelled like. <laughs> 2015 me, you all, I'm telling you. I smell like Velvet Orchid because you all, let me tell you. This was my original man eater signature scent. This is what I wanted to be known about. I don't care if I was in the office or if I was in the club, you all. Velvet Orchid was my scent. It turned heads, it got attention, and therefore it, I became known for smelling good, smelling like Tom Ford. They didn't know what Tom Ford, but was smelling like Tom Ford. So therefore I say Velvet Orchid is sexy. This is your sexy signature scent in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I love Black Orchid, but it has to be cold. I'm talking winter for to me to rock black orchid i live in the south i'm a southern girl so yeah i gotta wait to pull out black orchid but velvet oh velvet i can wear year round that's why velvet orchid makes the signature scent list and not a black orchid because this is just sexy it's sexy you all i've never actually looked at the notes on this one this is another one it's just when it works it works you don't have to get technical about it it just works you can easily find this scent at sephora still it's still on display that's why i buy mine at it every time go in there sample it especially with the sephora savings event coming up the holiday savings thing i'll be doing a list for that stay tuned to the channel the Velvet Orchid, oldie but goodie, certified legend in my opinion. So therefore, perfect way to end out this list of signature scent worthy fragrances. So all right, elves, that wraps up this edition, this video of signature scent worthy fragrances. If I were a signature scent girl, it would be one of these scents I just named because all of them, I have gone through a stint of wearing them a lot. So I knew if I wasn't a fragrance reviewer, a fragrance collector, all the above at this point, a fragrance lover, <laughs> most importantly, yeah, it would be one of these scents. I would just wear these and call it a day. So as always, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not here for any of this, that is okay. And I totally understand. By the way, else, please tell me what would be your signature scent or what is your signature scent? Because I recognize some of my elves are signature scent gals or gents. 
I recognize that. Or if you like me and have a million perfumes and if you had to narrow it down to a certain select group, tell me what that group would be in the comments below. I love reading them. So until next time, Elves, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>